No more, what's your problem? On the floor? Do you want me to get it for you? There you go. How long have you been sitting here pouting? All right, so it's a little later than usual. It's like probably 9.30, I think. It's really dark. Ern is on his way over. He had to go down to Superior and do inventory and stuff, but he hit me up just now. He knows when I wake up. The first thing I do is format the memory cards, but he has a bunch of photos on it from yesterday. He's like, hey, don't format yesterday's memory card, which I haven't yet, luckily, but when he gets here, I'm gonna make him pretend like I did. See if he reacts, I don't know. He might not. Sometimes he cares and sometimes he does not. I imagine he'll go, oh. I'll just shoot all the photos again. One clutch thing, which I didn't expect. This new iPhone is here. I got silver this time, just to change it up a little bit. And uh, dude, I didn't realize I liked this. The fact that this phone, we got like a whole surface screen. And it was like the same size without really noticing it, I guess, or until I got this one in my hand. This shit cramps my hand way more typing. Just the way I have to hold it, it digs into my hand differently. This is so comfortable for me to type on. That's why I've been tweeting up a storm all morning because I'm testing out my phone. Yeah. Ern should be here in a second. Change of plans. I'm going to pick up Ern. So as many of you have stated in the comments, DMs, messages, texts, smoke signals, faxes, telegraph, and Pony Express that I should not have taken the car through a non-touchless car wash. Who would have known? I didn't know. I don't do this stuff. So we learned that lesson. We won't do that anymore. Yo. Where are you at? In the coffee shop. I'm coming Jesus out right now. Where, well, where are you at? I'm past the coffee shop now because I've looped around three goddamn times. Okay, give me two seconds. Right. I see. I'll be there right. in two seconds. Waiting on AAA to get back to me about this international driver's license. Take care of that like Monday or oh, something. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I'm on it. But everything's good. And I'm just waiting on Scruff with these mock ups. We went through it right away last night and he said he's working on them all today and you should have them. So, and AAA should actually be calling me back. I left him a message. Why did you have to call AAA though? That's who Steven said you do it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the fucking stick? Get oh. it out of your car. Um, we can, but it's going to be a process now. Cause Here's we... this for the next time. Oh, nice. I brought, I brought it just for you and you can't even remember the fuck where you got it. I like this arm thing though. It's a good you workout. Don't. You hate it. And you shake the camera around like a f I really had the best just troll just this nice. morning. You ever use Venmo? Yes. Little, I've never used it. Okay, so, welcome to 2014. Yes, yeah, so somebody sent me money in Venmo, and I go in to accept the money, and I see every fucking transaction from everybody I know, paying for pizza. I know how people. Venmo works. Well, yeah. I didn't. So I decided if these things are public, I'm gonna comment on every last one of them. People are paying rent, I'm clapping, saying go get it. One girl that I used to go to college with, I haven't seen her in like 15 years, is constantly paying her man, and I'm like, is he gonna pay you anything? Dude, I am going in. Girl messaged me, and she's like, dude, I totally blocked you. I thought it was spam. Best part is strangers. So not only can you do your friends, but you can just do worldwide. Yeah. Like what's I know how Venmo works. In case these people God don't know. Maybe it. somebody else doesn't know Not how Venmo works. You can go back to 2014 and figure it out too. So this one girl has a horse and broccoli. And I go, you ain't fooling no one. We know that broccoli's weed. And she takes the time to respond and be like, no, actually. You last discovered something 10 that's been around since 2014. All these other people are living their regular ass fucking life. Life and you're fucking trolling them. It sounds like a very productive morning. Yeah, it actually was a productive morning. This so was in the 10 not, minutes that I was waiting. Not out yet. That's not because of my trolling. But apparently, I'm not supposed to take my car through a car wash. I'm supposed to be fucking detailed. I saw that. I mean, yeah, I guess so. I guess. It is a $60,000 car. Yeah, yeah, I it saw Makes it. sense. I just yeah. never think of things like that. Yeah, I wouldn't have either, honestly. Yeah, the only cars I ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Orange door and fucking black body. Yeah. One time I got a girlfriend's dad to buy me a Honda Prelude, then I broke up with her and dipped down. Oh and shit! It's like you're not taking that car, and I like petitioned all over to take the car, like, taking the fucking car, like finessed. I drove to Colorado in it actually. She's like, you just used me for that car. I was like, dated for like four years. The fuck you talking? About? Yeah. I bought you more than enough Chick Fil A and Chili's to fucking make up for this yeah. fifteen hundred dollar. Shout out to Chili's. Shout out to Chili's. Shout out to Reedsville, North Carolina. Shout out to the Mambo Combo. Wait, next one, where that white truck is, the yoga center. We love yoga squats. <laughs> pervy pop-up or what? Pervy pop-up. Let's find out. Yeah. Today on Weed Hunters. We'll be back. It's 11 o'clock. Lao Wang is open. It's 11 11. We're headed there now. 10 minutes. 11 21. Hopefully, we beat the rush. Uh, I tried to the well, 
go. It's time to work now. We're dumplinged up. I don't know. All that shit is just so good, but it's just, it's like comfort food to me. You eat that and I could just fucking. No. Oh. This is day three of no smoking weed. You know what I think, dude? And I'm terrified of this if it's, if it's true. Mom, if you're watching, you may want to turn this off. Anyone else who's watching probably thinks they want to turn this off. I think I'm becoming allergic to weed. No, I know this sounds crazy. Maybe I'm just Googling too much. Yeah, you are. Yo, let me tell you. Here we go. The last, first of all, What's I've this been- framing? What are, you, what are you doing? I don't know, hold on. The, I'll just, you can't smoke weed, can't finish a sentence, can't eat lunch without falling asleep. What? What is happening to you? Falling apart, dog. I'm you allergic. You put a seatbelt on? Uh, yeah. I figure we don't need it in the Tesla. Oh, well, because I want to hear this ding the whole fucking way. <laughs> Alright, the, the sun's wrong for right now. It's fine. Okay. You just think that it's wrong. It looks fine, post. Just fucking tell us your stupid ass story about how you're a pussy and you can't smoke weed. No. I don't know. Lately, like, my, I've been so congested. My throat's been sore. My glands, all that shit. Like, so remember? You're sick. Not sick. And then every time that I stop weed for like two days, three days, I feel fucking like amazing, like night and day. Besides the paranoia that was setting, because I think I'm having a midlife crisis. What is your crisis? I don't know. This is what's even more confusing, but <laughs> besides the paranoia that's been setting in and like my head being fucking crazy, I've been feeling like shit and every time I smoke, I'm like, oh my God, my fucking throat, my ears, like everything is fucking bothering me more than normal. And I know when I touch raw weed, I'm allergic to it. Like it's for sure. I want to touch that raw because it gets your jaw yeah. going wah, wah, wah. I touch my eyes, anything, I'm fucking done. So I know I'm allergic like that, but I've always smoked weed, no problem. I fucking love weed, love yeah, it. Yeah, so I gotta get a new friend. Well, well, so wait, not yet. I got um, a car, I don't have a driver anymore. Yeah, first thing my sister texted no, me. No you still have a job? I got no fucking driver. I got no fucking weed smoking buddy. 20 year career, you're retiring and you don't even know how to roll a joint yet. I can't quit, dude. I'm like known for like how, I, I mean, not anymore. Okay, so this is what's terrifying me. So then I start, <laughs> so then I stopped last week for like Your two days. Your identity relies on you smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my entire fabric of life. What it the is. Fuck? Josh uh, always says to me, you are weed, dude. Don't let people fucking box you in, dog. You but, wanna quit smoking weed because you're a pussy. You quit smoking yeah, but it's not because I'm a pussy. Uh, I stopped for like three days and I felt great. Or two and a half. Like, maybe oh. you should go back, like, since you smoked like like your regular New York weed for so long. Maybe you should go, go back, back to, to shit, some weed? shit. We can't handle this big boy shit that we do out I here. don't think it's that. Like straight up, we picked up Wi-Fi number one and you just started going crazy. I haven't even finished that Wi-Fi yeah, because of this. Yeah, give it to me because I'm ready because ever since then I've been drawing. Okay. I've been drawing. I got Someone more asked me if I was on cocaine. Someone asked me this week if I'm on meth, cocaine, and other types heroin. of speed. Yeah, heroin. Is no well. drugs. I'm drug free. So, no so I'm like, all right, I'm feeling better. I'm like, maybe I just had a sore throat and they're like, maybe I just had an ear, yeah. like a normal thing. Yeah, maybe you got started, to agree with you. Started smoking again, smoked on New Year's. I was like, this is good. After New Year's Eve, <laughs> after New Year's Eve, of course I woke up very hungover too, but like I woke up and I like I smoked a lot of weed, drank a lot. You also I, went out for New Year's Eve, which is collectively should just make you feel like shit. It, and it did. And to make this shitty feeling better, I'm gonna roll a fat fucking joint. As I'm smoking it, I'm like, my throat is itching, ears are fucking burning. Maybe I am, dude. Yeah, you are. Then so, my head is so, fucked right, up. So is the real? Get, if I'm not well, allergic. That's been the fuck. Placebos are a real thing. Well, dude, that's what's terrifying. And then you've me. been fucking Googling. So let's get to yeah. the part where let's, let's get yeah. to the. So then I Google the accounts of people who found out they were allergic to weed, which I don't think I've ever fucking heard of. There's CHS, it's called, which is, I forget what it stands for, but they. Can't handle shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. Coming with the wit, boy. It says that long, long time, like habitual weed smokers, that all of a sudden, like 15, threshold. 20 years in, you're like you're a koi fish swimming toward the rainbow gate. And once you pass through it, you turn into a dragon and then you can't smoke weed. It's fucked up, man. Is this from the bum fight? We passed the bum fight on the way here. And now There's it, a paramedic now, so that means that the bum fight maybe went. Turn. It was right up here, wasn't it? Was it was right here on the corner, yeah. They could have crossed the street. Could have crossed the street. And anyway. So that this thing says that, like, you know, this can happen, and there's a small percentage of people that all of all a right, sudden so how do we get it tested i don't know we need to get it tested because yeah, i want to keep smoking weed well, fine. but it does it again oh. it's so weird all three four five like on a second eight right. yeah how it can take it in i haven't just checked to make sure so yeah and, and all the symptoms which of course great sweatpants <laughs> looking loud no. boys. cannabinoid hyper oh, yeah. syndrome wow. CHS dog, kidding. Can't handle shit. You know what the 
you know what? <laughs> this I don't even want to put this on camera because no, this shit is so. No, no, the next thing I'm about to say gets even weirder, right, dude. Go. So lately, for some reason, I've just felt like taking baths. Like I've just been like, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go wait, to self drive. Wait. I can't fucking handle this shit. Wait. Oh shit! Wait. You got a bath bar? Hey, this motherfucker? Is wait, this a confession? No, I don't know what this is anymore. I don't know, but wait. So then it says, according to this 2011 publication by Temple University, University Hospital, CHS is characterized by chronic cannabis use, which I have, cyclic episodes of nausea, I get nauseous here and there. Everybody does. Yeah, vomiting, which doesn't happen to me, but then it throws this in, and bathing in hot water, which is a learned reaction. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm allergic to weed, and so my so mind, I feel like a bath today. <laughs> Did you feel like that after or before you read that? No, no, I've been, dude, I read this at lunch. That's why you got so weird at lunch. He's like, oh shit. Are yeah. you like taking baths lately? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what? Like, what does a bath have to do with this? But it's, that's what I'm doing. In my head, I was like, I hit the gym and we've been snowboarding a lot. Like a bath is nice. You can fuck, it's like a hot tub for your legs and. Uh, a and bath. Hot tub for your legs. <laughs> that's their slogan. So, hey, bath. It's a hot tub for your legs. And then in this sad ending, I came across a New York mag interview of a woman who found out she has CHS. She had, after a dozen tests, her doctor told her she developed an intolerance to cannabis. In the end, she had to quit smoking. And, and then. We're says, not gonna be friends if you quit smoking. It says weed. can occur and and eventually <laughs> you won't even be able to eat it. So even if I can't smoke it, I can't eat it. Post nasal drip. I mean, these are a lot of things I always you have. You definitely have a post nasal drip. Like I've had for my whole life. I've had it for my whole life. Yeah. That up. It says you get rintitis. Well, I, 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 I need to know. I need to know more about what is rintitis, and I need uh, to know more about this. This, this bath link is really what's uh, fucking me up. A lush oh, rint. You want to stop and grab a couple weed bath bomb? Maybe, maybe that will. Maybe that's. Maybe that's how you did it. That's it. No, bath. I didn't. I want to, but that's maybe it. that's how you cure it. Cure it. Let's try. 500 milligram bath. Rintitis. Irritation and swelling of the mucous membrane in the nose. Oof, you definitely have that. But I might have had this before we. It's true. It's but, very true. But if we... All right, this is where self-driving comes in handy. Because fuck this shit. All this stop and go bullshit. No, sir. Not for Ted. Not for Ted. Not for <laughs> the weed smoking. Dime dealing. High flying. Rolex <laughs> wearing. Woo! Woo! So it started with the paranoia and then I think part of the paranoia was because the weed was like whatever was making me feel so shitty I started thinking I was dying. I started thinking I, that all the time. I had I just cancer. Smoke through it. I go through that all the time. I smoke through it. Facing your mortality dog. I like, understand that and I understand that about weed. I tell other people this. It's a new level. You've reached a new level now that the reaper wants to turn you away but that's the fucking that's the fucking reaper dog. The reaper smokes with you. You see the grim reaper you see him he's like hey you got like yo dog he extends his hand you put the joint in it. Everybody thinks he's extending his hand to take you. He's just asking to hit. Dude, remember, I went to the... <laughs> Story. I am like, because it like, hit I know. me late. I know, because like, that's what I'm saying. I tried to hand the Reaper the joint, and he was just like, nah, it's time. And I was like, what do you mean it's my time? I don't even wear a watch. <laughs> but I mean, I, but Brady bought me a watch. I just don't know what to do about it. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Please let me just smoke weed. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck to do, dude. Stop smoking fucking heavy and heavy sativas. Yeah, because. I'm done with sativa for <laughs> sure. You're not that, Urkel Burkle. No, I'm not hitting shit up. today until I figure this out. See, everything happens in my head. I touch my glands, and you look at me from across the room, and, and you say, you good and I say yeah my glands are bad and you go oh that could be you know that you might want to check that out that could mean a lot of things so then I'm like oh my god what well could if your mean? glands stay swollen yeah. for a long period it's, but most things are gonna like be present in your glands so first thing yes. the doctor is gonna check if your glands are super swollen for a long period of time that's where like things like leukemia and shit can yes. be formed yes so it's good I understand like, that because I've seen that on but Google but that doesn't mean that. when someone says you I mean, that's how that Gaddis that's, yeah. that's how he knew because I was there the day I know. he went like I this know. and he was like my fucking glands are weird and I was like you should go get that checked out because yeah. you've been saying it for weeks. For sure. But that doesn't mean that you like, ha like, look, dog, in the video game, there's all kinds of pitfalls you can fall down where your friend's lives get taken and step to start over. All kinds. That doesn't mean just because you heard about homeboy falling down the thing that once you hear a symptom that you have it. I like, know that. I don't think I have leukemia. I know, but, but I'm then, saying, like, oh, my glands are swollen. But then the other I'm thing like, is when body, you look hold up. Hold on, hold on. Your body does not know the difference. When you have a mental response where you're like stressed like this, I know. your body doesn't know the difference. I think I'm making it happen. That scares me even more because then as you're looking up these symptoms, the, the main thing that comes up is like, well, if you're a smoker, throat cancer, throat cancer, throat, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I did, well, yes and no. Yeah, I was, but that was a long time. <laughs> Do not. <laughs>
Put that in <laughs> but can I put the serious though? Like, can I just bleep out what I say and then say, "Put the yeah. serious." Do not. Yeah. Put that in the <laughs> but that when I smoked heavy was college. But even that, it would be a year on, a year off. I was never like. I mean, you uh, look so at these even, fucking people. Even, you you can't, can't do that. You can't compare yourself to other people. I know you can't, but it's like God. You see these people. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know. So I the whole see thing. People do all kinds of shit and they never fucking get hurt. And I'm like, how the fuck? But the point up, and I Google what's wrong with me it's either <laughs> i'm allergic to weed or i have throat cancer or that i'm just now i'm just Google. freaking myself look up shit I, on the dude internet. you know what i never do i never have and i was so freaked out i had to take a xanax i was so freaked oh, out the God, one night we got big no Zan that was the Zan night remember <laughs> the real reason i wanted it is i started freaking out dude and i finally said you know what dude you're always avoiding in my head i'm like you're always avoiding it just just deal with it look it up let's see what's up and i look it up and i'm like oh my god my heart is just like like in my throat and I'm just like this is the worst fucking thing ever. <laughs> he like Tupac. The worst day of his life was when he didn't smoke weed. When he still this is true. Smoke weed. Oh, who's calling? Hold on, 303. Hey, we heard you're allergic to weed. Uh, yep, who's this? My name is Stephanie. I'm calling from AAA Colorado. Questions? about an international driving permit? Yes, um, I'm going to Japan in two weeks and they have these go-karts that you can ride, but I get trip, mm -hmm. AAA is the place to go to handle this. We have the ability to take your photographs. Okay. I think the car, st I thought the car is still running. I don't know if it's running and locked. You can't hear the engine anyway. It's Calm down. Okay. <laughs> you know, I got CHS, dog. I can't handle yeah, shit. You can't handle shit. You do this. This is your old shit. That's why I like some video games. This disease doesn't even exist. You made it up. No one's ever heard of it. You created in reality, and now everyone watching this is in their reality, too, now. You brought it here. Maybe we shouldn't put this in the vlog. I want to look up this hot bath link. Because this, that part, that's what really made me freak out. I'm like, how do they know I've been taking baths? That's why it's a video game. You were like, I wonder why I want to take baths so much. CHS hot bath. What the fuck is wrong with me? Cannabinoid hypermesis relieved by compulsive bathing. Am I a compulsive bather now? 74? No. <laughs> I took one this morning and one before you picked me up and well, we're not taking six today. That's why you've been taking all the photos in the bathroom for the shoe and clothing set. I just see the bath and you I'm saw like, the bath and you were like, yeah, I like this. I don't get it, cannabinoid. Fuck, how do I get tested for this? I have a regular doctor's checkup next week. I'm gonna be like, I wanna get tested for fucking. Let's do our own test, come on. No, okay. I'm gonna end up high and in a bath somewhere and we're not gonna get any work done. Go. Report of cases. An obese 25 year old woman who was a long time. I can't even read these things. This is fucking. Why do they have to put that fucking detail in there? She already can't smoke weed. Her, her symptoms bad. were refractory. All type medications only responded she to hot showers. She noticed yeah. she had a relief pitcher's hairline. <laughs> Dude, yeah, but this is more compulsive. This lady's taking six hour showers. Like six hour hot showers. I don't even know you can have hot water that long. Her medical history also included bipolar. Check. Oh my god. Mild cerebral pulse. Chronic mild and facial droop. Check! Check so we're strong! I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my god, my she friend, began like, gaining so many fucking laughter. <laughs> she began smoking marijuana six to seven years earlier and used the substance almost daily. Her last marijuana use was one day before admission to the hospital. Can we cue to your video explaining to CNN <laughs> why no one should not want to smoke weed? Amazing. Well, I'm gonna hit this strawberry guava <laughs> while you fucking chill. <sighs> can you smell it? Or is that gonna fuck you up? No, oh, I can smell it. I she was in moderate distress and found to be writhing in bed. She had a mild... It sounds like these people, though, it's all in their fucking head. It's like, all in everybody's head. Fine. My real face. Minus the droopy face. I mean, droop, bitches got droopy faces sometimes, man. Case. Hey, I don't feel good. Like, what have you done? Like, I smoke weed. Like, that's gotta be it. <laughs> it must be the thing. Maybe there's someone in the door or in your paranoia. You're like Abner just barking at shadows out there. Mm. Abner got a bad batch. He got spun fucking 30 years ago. He's just out here. I don't vomit though. This whole vomiting thing. I'm not sitting here puking from weed. 
Nah, if you go home and throw up, I'll just fucking, like, I won't even be able to handle the life. Compulsive bathing behavior exhibited by these patients is another notable characteristic. <laughs> I think that it's a normal reaction, though, for a human being when they don't feel good to take a bath. Uh, he said this was the super sativa, the fluffer nutter. Do you think, Would you describe his bath taking uh, as compulsive? Yes, I would say about every other night. You know, I don't know. I don't know about compulsive. Okay. okay. We're just trying to get to the bottom of something. <laughs> we'll call you from the hospital. We'll Love call you, you from the hospital. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> what? You said you don't even use bath bombs. I know. Bye. We're about to drop our own dirty urn bath ball. All right. They're going to be called dirty urn blue balls. All right. Love you. Bye. Give your boyfriend blue balls, and it's just like your whole slogan. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's weird. Does it's the Airbnb weird. have a bath? It's weird how you lost your manhood and your job all on your friend all on the same day. <laughs> like the trifecta. That's how I'm going to start my novel. <laughs> it all started the day that I lost my manhood, my job, and my best friend. Yeah, you're going to face it back. It's the selfie stick. <laughs> As soon as I stopped carrying the selfie stick, things just went awry. Your hard part is even falling apart. Uh, you know what I mean? Yesterday you showed up here all slick. Now you look like a broken man. You look like a soldier who got sent home on the first day of training. What do I do? I don't know. You got BHS. How do you get tested? I mean, CHS. You're a CHS survivor. Do I know any doctors or nurses? We'll get them on the horn. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to make a Tesla commercial today, but this is way better. <laughs> I was gonna make a commercial about how if you don't buy a Tesla, you don't care about anyone's children. Tesla, if you don't buy one. Fuck the future. <laughs> yeah. For that oil change. Yeah. Wait, you still have to get an oil change though, right? Um, where are we going with this? I gotta get my computer. We got a yeah, lot. Yeah, you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Where's the memory? See you guys in a minute. <laughs> Where's the memory card with the rest of the pictures? Oh, I, yeah. So you hit me up at fucking what time to ask me to not format the card? Is it two? Uh, eight thirty-nine. Just getting out of my morning nine, bath. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I was gonna I, I was gonna troll you and say I deleted it because I was like I just want to see what your reaction is, but you're having such a rough day. But here, thank <laughs> there's you. the micro film. All right, yep. let me get my computer. Okay, this is dope. I like that you're having a crisis right before we leave the country. Dude, on top of it, don't, off, don't act like that's not going through my mind. I keep saying to myself, like, am I just dying and leaving for Japan and never going to come back? Like, all this is going on in my head. I got a fucked up head. Dude, I think that I'm going to die all the time. Yeah. No, you don't. Like, like, really, like, I'm, like, in my room editing, and I'm like, this is going to be my last day. And sometimes I send out a tweet, and I'm like, last tweet ever. And I go to bed, and I'm like, I'm going to wake up dead. And everyone's going to be like, yo, Teddy tweeted some wild shit. Even all the time. Well, remember I told you Josh was Your mortality is Josh real. Got a heart monitor put your in mortality body. because what people do is convince themselves that their mortality is not real at other times. I understand. All this that. is is you're recognizing. Like, I you agree. Die I've told Stop. myself. I this. can take this thing right here and end it for us both. He's We're going. not going to. I'm just saying, like, yeah. fucking reality. Like, stop tripping. Stop hey, tripping. This is back to the world. Cause Omar escaped. There he goes. Ah, ah. <laughs> Look, oh, weed makes me paranoid. I say no, it doesn't. It just makes you realize that shit is real. That life is real because in your normal day to day, you don't think about mortality. Now I'm just thinking about it. Mortaliturn. Mortaliturn. <laughs> this is the best day. This is gonna be a great ever. Vlog. The comments are just gonna be fucking crazy. I'm gonna have people hitting me up like, "Yo, Ern, I know people. It's okay. It's I he's not a doctor. <laughs> don't listen to your friend." It's funny though. I had a week when we were at, in New York where I didn't really smoke weed. I know. Well, what but was I was. Was it like you though? Honestly? Yeah. I think that I was preparing for, I think that I was preparing my mind for Doobie. I think that I was prepared, like, cause I, Doobie passed away shortly after that. And I think that like all my anxiety was all that shit. Cause when I got there on that trip, I wasn't taking dab. I was smoking oh. a little bit of flour. But Sean was like, let's take some dabs. And I was like, nah, I'm not really smoking wax like that. And I was like, I just, you know, yeah. I was facing something, but I was, and when I would smoke weed, I'd smoke a little less. I just hit a little weed just to be relaxed. I wouldn't smoke like a whole joint. But I also, during that time, was having to think about a lot of shit. Cause I was just like scared scared of all kinds of things. My life was going in different directions. That's how I feel right but, now. But that's why I said midlife crisis. Like, it's just, it's <clears> not that it's going different directions. Like, we know what's going on, but like, we're going to Japan. Uh -huh. I have this tour coming up. Uh -huh. We have all this shit with business going on. We're trying to build this. We have new brands. We have everything's moving. I'm trying to fucking, and then I, I do, I freak myself out, dude. I look at my dogs. I'm like, Maya's getting, I'm like. These are all things that are real. And I start just. Which is fine, but then that's what makes, that's what kind of turns me off from the week. Because I'm like, if me hitting this, besides the whole CHS, whatever the fuck. <laughs> you don't know what it feels you like don't to know be what me. it feels like. I used to be able to hit the blunt. Now I can't. The blunt started hitting back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where's a card reader? Because I need one of those, too. Sony one around here somewhere. Damn, uh, son. 
Look at this sauce, though, bro. And this is just one aspect of it that, that like, is what I'm dwelling on, I feel like. Like, I just started freaking about a bunch of things, and then this is something I honed in, and I'm like, maybe it's all the weed. Maybe I'm allergic to so weed. You're trying to, all you're trying to do is control what's happening. I love you're the weed. Like, when to, Alex had that joint yesterday. It has nothing to do with the weed, though, is what I'm saying. You're just trying to control all of the fucking... If all this stuff wasn't going on, you're, like, saying it. If all this stuff wasn't going on, you wouldn't have this anxiety. It's because you're trying to get high while you have all this other stuff going on, and you're not used to, like, That's why having I'm to manage it gonna like clear my fucking head out or you're gonna fucking go there and then you come back and smoke a joint and be like yep nope uh-uh <laughs> never again <laughs> i don't want to you're happen gonna those, dude. you're gonna be one of those frat dudes that are sitting there like man i used to smoke man <laughs> and then one day dude like, like i hear people bro say, <laughs> bro, say, bro you smoke so heavy dog like i know you don't even know man they used to call me motherfucking weed willy one day bro i started just seeing visions <laughs> that's <laughs> what happens <laughs> any old person that you scary is like a little scary animated joint it's like come smoke me huh i won't cause you any problems you're like no no you're gonna make me feel weird and sick no i won't i'm your friend we've known each other since Dude, you were 12. i don't want to ever I say know. to some younger person <laughs> How are you? what, what does that have to do with young lot. people smoke for me motherfuckers <laughs> all the people out there with chs <laughs> It's like funny, but it's not because I haven't smoked in three days and I'm freaking the fuck out. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Alright, we gotta get to work for real. Oh. <laughs> Alright, where's this memory card reader? You gotta. We've been pricing this yard sale all day. It's about 3 30. A long day. Almost done. We still gotta price a lot of shoes. This may get continued into tomorrow. As it's getting later, we both have stuff to do. Let me see what Teddy thinks of that in a second. That's about it. The drop, hopefully, friends and family, by the time you're watching this tonight, you're also uh, looking through the lookbook. That's also getting tightened up. It's been a lot of work these past few days. Um, I think I need to get home and relax. See, uh, see what the plan is. This is great. Oh, I thought you were Teddy. I think we should continue the shoes tomorrow. Why? I mean, we still got the, you know, maybe another hour or something. I feel like I'm getting fucking burnt out. If you need to go, it's fine. It's not even that I need to go. I just am like, in my head, I'm just like, this is just getting fucking... It's because you haven't smoked any weed and you don't know how to function. You just want to go home and take a bath. <laughs> So glad the camera was on right now. It's fine if you need to go. Cool. Yeah, I know you probably got some Mr. Bubbles calling your name. Yeah, I mean, we'll get one more. And then the the Y3 t-shirt with the, with the big stripes across the back of it. Oh, uh, you can do it for like 40 bucks. You also have to drive me home though. Oh shit. I forgot, I'm gonna call you an Uber. Are you? Yeah, because I just like don't have time. Right I can also, if you have headphones, I'll walk because it's nice. I have out. a brand new pair of these. I'll use that for now. I don't give a fuck. I was going to describe why I'm getting rid of each of these shoes, but I don't have time for that today. No, no, no. I was thinking if you want to bonus me like one of those Pharrell's for doing all these shoes, Pharrell ones. You can do whatever you want. Really? Of course. <laughs> well, I really, really want. Yeah, this is that. Well, then here you go, sir. Take them. Nice! Come up, I'm walking home through the streets with some fucking human racists. Yo, it's a lick. It's and, a walking lick right there. Yeah, they better try and get me. You can't get me. They're going to get you. They're, they're, they're going to come up to you with a joint. They're like, hey. And you're going to be like, take him. Just take him. Fucking Brandy's going to be like, maybe we don't walk that way home anymore. <laughs> I'm going to take a bubble bath. Yeah, I am. An estimate of when I'll be done with look with 930-ish. Perfect. Uh, East Coast time? Of course it's his time. 11.30 our time? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Late night lookbook. Coming, coming soon. <sighs> I gotta start fucking packing for Japan. Yeah, I do too. You know, people don't know what it's like living with CHS. And... What's up? Oh, guess tag teaming? You jack teaming? You jack teaming? What, you wanna smoke? What? 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 What you gonna do? What? Oh, no. Get out of here. Good. Yeah. Yo. What's up with you guys? Bro. Cheers. Again? All day. Today is uh, definitely winding down. 
Iron's gone. One crazy dog. Yeah, it's the weekend. So I'm gonna bust the phone out of here. Call it a Dizay. Wrap it up. The golden hour. The shoe drop is most likely gonna be Sunday. That could change. But I would definitely keep your eye on my socials because it's gonna drop. That's with Kith everything. All right. Peace.